Good morning, my darlings. Welcome to a new vlog. It's Tuesday morning, bright and early. Today I am heading into London. I feel like this is the real time of year when everything is going on summer event-wise here in the UK. Today, yesterday was the day that I was at Penley, which was fabulous. You'll have seen that in the last vlog. I've been listening to Okiem's The Golden Circle non-stop. Truly, Hans Zimmer. Ludovica Rinaldi, watch out <laughs> because it's all, Okim is just, he's the one to watch and I adore him. <laughs> so, fangirl moment over. Um, today I'm heading to the Hurlingham Tennis Club for the tournaments today. I'm going with Eve Lom, which is so lovely. I have got their, where is it, SPF 50 on to protect my face. Um, this is a really nice SPF to use because also your makeup sits so beautifully over it. Sometimes I find with SPFs, my foundation or my BB cream don't act like they normally do over a full-on SPF product, whereas this is fantastic. It's skincare, it's SPF, but it's also a fabulous primer. Protects against sun, environmental damage for brighter, firmer, more radiant looking skin. And I do feel very radiant, so that's great. Haven't done any lipstick yet, because I haven't brushed my teeth <laughs> since doing my smoothie. But I might do my fabulous Clé de Peau super bright thing again, because I loved that the other day. And the other day I wore it just gardening. <laughs> but I did put it to the test for its um, amount of time. So I need to leave home in 45 minutes. Obviously need to do my hair and choose an outfit. I'm just wearing this cute little, I think it's a little bit nipply. This is actually quite see-through but never mind um it's actually a night dress from a brand called if only if nightwear and it's just really lovely lightweight fabric if you so i actually wore regular pajamas to bed but then after having a shower i didn't do a workout this morning i just did some stretching because i'm still a little bit sore from my workout yesterday wasn't quite ready to decide on my outfit for the day so i've popped this on i just think it's lovely it's so comfortable so today's no, when? Mm, what day is it? Today's Wednesday. Today's Wednesday, and on Friday, Charlie and I are heading off to Sicily for our honeymoon, so we'll probably be there when you are watching this video. So this morning, um, just while I'm pottering about, deciding what to wear today, I'm also flinging a few things in my suitcase to take with me to Sicily. So I thought I would show you a few of the things that I am packing. I'll show you my progress so far. I am of course taking my giant case. On this side I've just packed some gym clothes um, and I'm going to be reading this. Chris Van Tulliken, 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 ultra processed people because I'm just fascinated by all of that. And I've got some Go Out magazines I haven't read yet. And then so far I've just packed my shoes. I feel like I just literally take these shoes on every holiday <laughs> and I wear them all the time. They are definitely my most worn shoes. These are Manebi, I think. Um, and they're great because they've got a very grippy sole, unlike the Hermes Oran sandals, which are not grippy, but I will wear them as well. My Raffia Valentino sandals, I wore them all day yesterday. Jelly shoes, <laughs> I know, ridiculous, I got these in the sale, Valentino jelly shoes, um, because I think there are some rocky beaches and we hope to do a boat trip day. Usual Aquazuras and another pair of Manebis, great beach shoes. So I think that's enough. I always overpack shoes. Over here, freshly ironed, I have got my white company uh, linen white shirt, an essential for flinging over your shoulders after a day on the beach or during a day on the beach. Um, and then I'm just gonna rummage through that cupboard that's open down here for dresses from my summer collection. So yes, I'm just gonna scurry around, grabbing various bits and bobs and popping them in the case. suitcase a lot of white very cliche for a honeymoon but I always wear white so no real surprise today it's 
cloudy but could brighten but it could get warm <laughs> so i've popped on this lovely erdem dress which i think the last time i wore this was to chelsea flower show it's perfect for a day at the tennis um long sleeves so fine for a slightly over overcast is that the expression overcast day usual accessories valentino valentino um hair pinned back it is day three hair but i think we're just about getting away with it i'm going to take my gucci sunglasses slightly optimistic given the cloud but there we go okay let's get to chelsea Oh, the sky is looking ominous, but I have made it to the Hurlingham Club, Giorgio Armani's Armani Tennis Classic. Andy Murray is playing at 2.30, so I just need to find the gang and enjoy this lovely day. We're about to head into the tennis. Eve Lom have got this cute little cart outside and we are discovering about their SPF 50, all about boosting radiance and very, very good idea. They've got these little sachets of the Factor 50 so that no one's going to be getting sunburn while watching the tennis. Hydrate, protect and glow, all in one daily defense. Clinically proven to hydrate skin for up to 36 hours. That sounds good to me. Just had a lunch inside. This is a very civilized way of watching the tennis. Over on the courts over there, Andy Murray is about to play Rune. Ru Rune? Runa. Runa. <laughs> who is currently the world number six. Down here we've got some little food stalls. You can get some nice yummy treats. Over here is the Whispering Angel Garden. Let's go and check it out. yummy breakfast after our workout this morning. Fried eggs with some ducker on top, pumpernickel bread, kale from the garden with some chili seeds on top. Yum yum. Before... It's gonna be quite the transformation.
Good morning, my darlings. Is it even still morning? No, it's 12.55. I have had a busy but lovely morning. As you will have seen um, a PT session with Simon to kickstart the day, which is great. Not gonna lie, my body is still aching from our Tuesday session. Um, but we did some different muscles today. So hopefully I will I will power through, I will survive. <laughs> Yesterday was so much fun with the Evelom team at um, Hurlingham. I feel very fortunate to have seen Murray versus, is it Rooney? Rune? Rune. He is, again, I hope I'm getting this correct, Norwegian, world number six. Uh, Hurlingham is obviously not a competitive day, but it's a fantastic practice day for the big stars. And it was just absolutely gorgeous chatting more with the Evelon team, discovering more about the brand. Um, and yeah, I just absolutely adore the brand, adore the products and can't wait to try more. I actually arrived home yesterday to find their essence in my PO box and I didn't know they did an essence. So very much looking forward to trying that, which I'm gonna do very, very shortly. My hair has been drying completely naturally this morning. I haven't even touched my hair dryer because I had um, arranged for lovely Nicole, who I booked through the Ruby app, to come and do a very quick little manicure ahead of going to Sicily tomorrow. So I've had a nice little bit of pampering. Hair was just drying naturally that whole time. And I'm gonna head out into the garden shortly. So I'm just gonna let it dry, finish drying in my heatless wave set, because it's actually really, really nice outside. I also want to do a little bit of fake tanning ahead of tomorrow. Um, hopefully there's gonna be a few bits. I did do a little last minute nail support order. So hopefully some bits are gonna arrive shortly. And I've also got my lovely yellow Hobbs dress out because I'm gonna see what the situation is, whether the net porter stuff arrives or not. Um, and if I've got enough evening outfits, I feel like I probably already do with what I've already packed, but there we go. I'm also doing a little bit of wedding and engagement ring cleaning in this Amazon ultrasonic thing that I bought bought a little while ago, but I only used it once. I wasn't blown away with how it worked the first time I used it, but then Robin said that you need to put fairy liquid in it. And she did that for my engagement ring just before the wedding and it did look amazing. So I'm gonna give that another go, but first I need to put this in my mouth so I won't be able to talk to you <laughs> while I do the second side. heatless curls haven't done this in a little while um, my hair stopped really reacting responding well to heatless curls for a while I think I was using too much conditioner making my hair too silky which who'd have thought that would ever be a problem <laughs> but it was and it was just wasn't sticking so we'll give it a go we'll see how it works so I'm gonna give this essence a try normally I'll use something like this in my skincare routine after my vitamin C so in the morning I get up, micellar water, the serum or the shiseido, um, and then a vitamin C, and then about an hour later, I will come and use an essence, wipe the slate clean. It's fantastic for hydrating, brightening, a little bit of, well, what does it say? Radiance, anti-aging, boosting ingredients, immediate and long-lasting hydration. Essence supports the reduction of fine lines and wrinkles. Pour several drops into palms of hands. Okay, so this one actually doesn't recommend using a cotton pad it's also a very refreshing step on a summer day mm. it seems like the smallest thing like applying a lovely watery substance to your face and decollete but I do find it gives such a huge impact on my skin's hydration level and to me this is almost like a reset and I'm ready to apply more skincare and that's when I'll normally apply the serum based on my skin's needs for that particular day. Because I was at the tennis with Evelyn yesterday and I've got their lovely hydration, um, yeah, intense hydration serum here, that is what I'm gonna use today. Evelyn is all about hydration and radiance and the products all have the most gorgeous consistency, lovely ingredients and just give you the glow. 
You're meant to pat your serums on, aren't you? Okay, that has just finished buzzing around. Now, what I normally do, aside from this, which I have only literally done it once, it's just been under my little desk here for a year and I've only used it once, but Robin has inspired me to use it properly. What I normally do to clean my ring, which I don't do very frequently, is when I've got some fairy liquid and I literally bought up actual proper fairy liquid is the best thing to use for this because obviously it cuts through grease and it is kind of disgusting to think but it's really, I mean to be fair this has actually done a really good job without me even needing to do this, it's the grease that gets stuck underneath the gems and I think someone told me that diamonds attract grease which is lovely isn't it? So I'm just taking a very gentle bristle toothbrush and giving it a bit of a manual clean as well. I very rarely do this. <laughs> I can't be bothered with this kind of maintenance, but it does make a difference and I thought before our honeymoon I shall do it. <laughs> give these rinse under the tap and hopefully we have got some fabulous, fabulously sparkling wedding jewellery. Okay, to be fair, that does now look very sparkly. Can you see? I did have a few of you guys asking for details on my wedding band and so here it is. It's actually got little smaller diamonds down the back and larger ones at the front so when it sits together it looks like this but it stops it from spinning around very very clever so that is my little duo i'm going to leave them off put some fake tan on and then pop them back on again but yeah i definitely think that has made them extra sparkly okay my darlings i am fake tanned and looking very bronze if i do say so myself i think when you've got a bit of a natural tan and then you apply fake tan it's a mega glow. So I'm gonna pop on a little bit of makeup. I've got my Evlon SPF 50, which is truly just gorgeous. This is officially my everyday SPF now. It works really beautifully under makeup, as you will see, because it just gives you the most gorgeous glow. Again, all about radiance and hydration for the skin, gorgeous ingredients, multitasking products, and no white cast, as you can see, straight away skin is primed and ready for makeup so that's going to come with me in my suitcase because it's so moisturizing you don't need a moisturizer between your serum and your spf unless you desperately want one um but this is quite moisturizing enough so because it is moisturizing my skin as well as protecting i do like to give it like two or three minutes um to sink in so Meanwhile, mm -mm -mm, let me show you the bits that have just arrived from my Nessa Porter order. I've said many a time before, do not come to me for tips on packing light because it is not a skill that I possess. But we've gone quite colourful. I feel like Sicily is a colourful place. So we've gone for colour. Um, lots of Zimmerman and a few other bits too. So we've got this little short dress from Zimmerman. Long sleeve but short. Love the pattern on this. It feels a little bit almost like midsummer autumnal. I'm not ready to even think about autumnal colours yet. But... Um, if I want something on my arms in the evenings, then this will be perfect. I think this will be a real favourite. It is a Zimmerman with a smocked back, uh, so it's going to fit really beautifully and strapless. So when you've got glowing shoulders, then it's gorgeous. Really beautiful floral pattern. This is Agua Bendita, which is a beautiful Colombian brand. It's actually very heavy, so needs to be perfect in order for me to take it with me. It's going to take a lot of my suitcase weight. I thought this was very Sicilian in its colour and style. Pretty sure this is Zimmerman. Is it? Oh, sheesh kabumbuli. Dropped it. Yes. Tis Zim Zim. 
sorry about that. Uh, yes, it is Zimmerman and it's got this beautiful stitch detail on the edge. I think I'm going to love the silhouette. Here, tucked away, we have got a little mermaid dress from Mizzoni. Again, Italian brand, um, and yeah, I just love the colours. It's very, very fun, so I thought that would be fabulous. A little beach cover-up here from, again, I want to say Peony, but it's not Peony, it is Erdem. And then this is also a little Erdem, a very lightweight little dress, so it should be fabulous. I'm going to grab my, mm -mm -mm -mm, from out here, you guys don't often see this area, do you? I've got my little, where is it? Uh-huh. My little Zimmerman that I got earlier in the summer with the shells, gonna take that with me. And also the dress, where, here it is, that I wore to our rehearsal dinner because that is just perfect for warm evenings on the Sicilian coastline, gorgeous. I can't see where my Aborian BB cream has gone very annoyingly. So I'm gonna use Dr. Jart BB cream instead as my base for today. We've got a, I wouldn't normally put makeup on on a day like today, especially pre-holiday, got fake town, etc. But we just have a few little blog photos that we need to shoot and that requires a little bit of makeup. <laughs> a very quick five minute makeup look literally just the most simple of makeups i used the dr chart bb cram big fan of bb's over normal foundations over summer and then i've got to say the beauty pie version of the chanel cream bronzer is amazing this is the awesome bronze sun kissed bronzing cream I have raved about this many a time and it really is fabulous, especially if you're doing a more lightweight, glowing, natural makeup look during summer. It's just gorgeous. I recommend getting the little brush. This is actually the Charlotte Tilbury one, but the Beauty Pie one has got a little bit of slant to it, which is even better. I have already packed mine ready for Sicily tomorrow. This alone is worth getting your Beauty Pie membership for. It's that good. You can use Josie Sent Me to get £10 off your beauty pie membership if you do not already have one. Um, also from beauty pie I tried out one of their new super cheek gleam me up. So I just used a blusher brush, stabbed it or stippled it into there a few times. More prominent in real life than on camera but just a really nice natural cream blush. I do love the clay de peau one. Um, this is what I use most days, the clay de peau cream blush in the shade number four. This doesn't have a shimmer to it, but the Beauty Pie one does. But other than that, very similar. Very, very similar, except for the price. This is a lot cheaper. I also put the Beauty Pie Intensive Lip Balm on with Nourishing Avocado Oil. And then I applied Bare Minerals Grace Lipstick on top. Very pretty pink colour. I do have here the Charlotte Tilbury Pink Gasm Jewel Lips which I will apply as a finishing touch. Very pretty, and I'm going to take, oh, and I use Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat in Pillow Talk, and I'm gonna take these, and my Yves Lom SPF to Sicily with me, so I'm going to throw those into my suitcase, and then I need to just nibble on something, oops a daisy. Had um, my eggs and kale for breakfast, but I've not eaten anything since. So I'm gonna go down, make myself something, and then we are going to shoot a few photos for the vlog, and then I'm gonna finish packing. I realized I didn't have my ring light on for that, so the makeup probably didn't look its best sat in the little dark corner, but maybe this lighting is a little bit better, daylight. Yeah, just a very, Easy, literally five minute glowing makeup look. But honestly, it starts with the skin. I feel like my skincare routine at the moment is wonderful. Evelyn SPF, my best friend throughout summer.
sensationally yummy you might have seen I forgot to add the dates in um, tasted it realized it was not sweet enough so I've added four or five dates which is a lot but it's also my afternoon pick-me-up so leftovers of my morning coffee because we ran out of oat milk and I don't like a big long black coffee I can't often finish it so if I don't finish it I pop it in the fridge then I add it to my smoothie later on a banana the ancient and brave chocolates um, protein powder a bit of maca powder some almonds a couple of Brazil nuts uh, did I mention a banana and some kefir yogurt and some water and then it's just lovely poured over ice yum 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 so that is my mid-afternoon snack because I have left it rather too late for lunch. Don't want to spoil my dinner. We'll probably start having dinner at about five-ish. We try and eat a little bit earlier in the evenings now. So that will keep me going while I do a little bit of tidying up in the garden while it's still so beautiful outside. going away tomorrow but I can't help but pick my sweet peas they are just looking so exceptional these ones here I've just picked that little lilac um, little posy you can see on the table there from the sweet peas in the raised bed that you just saw me snipping and these ones are my favorite they are white with little lilac edges they are so beautiful I'm so happy with my sweet pea choices this year so I'm gonna pick a posy glass of each and they will be lovely to have in the background of the photos we need to shoot for the blog. which would be perfect for the blog photos. I've gone a wee bit shiny, so I need a bit of powder, some high performance powder, rhodial. I'm actually quite fragrant at the moment from my fake tan, so Chloe, I apologize for you having to get close to me for these photos, but I will shower it off before bed. I'm just sending a load of voice notes to my friend Hannah about um, gut health. We published a blog post this morning all about how learning about glucose levels and gut health has been such a game changer for me um, and we're just discussing how doctors literally don't ever tell you any of this stuff like doctors they're not trained in nutrition so they prescribe you medicine to solve your ailments when actually a lot of it most of it could be helped seriously helped by a better diet and I feel like sometimes when I talk about this online without being able to tell the full story I could potentially sound like one of these crazy conspir conspiracy theorists like oh the doctors just want to make you ill so that you keep buying medicine. Kind of true, especially in America. But yeah, you guys know that I've become fascinated by these topics lately. And I'm just trying to give my friends some advice. And check out the um, Wellness Wednesday post on the blog if you want more of our um, learnings. Well, this has done pretty well, actually. I only need them to look good for half an hour while we take, take the photos. Oh, wide tooth comb. It's normally when you brush them out that you realise if you've got any curl, but considering I've put zero heat on my hair today, 
think we've done pretty well. Pretty happy with that. It's not the perfect curls, but when are my curls ever perfect? All right, we're gonna go into the garden, shoot these vlog photos, then I'm gonna get back into my H&M dress and spend the rest of the afternoon gardening. has become just the most gorgeous evening. I just finished up work for the day. It's just gone five, a nice leisurely time to finish work. I've put my out of office on, ready for the honeymoon and feeling good. I'm pretty much packed. I haven't shut the case yet because I don't like to shut it too prematurely to avoid <laughs> creasing my clothes more than is necessary. But like the longer your case is shut, the longer everything takes to decrease on the other side. We just had some amazing news today that some of our very close friends have just exchanged on a property in the Cotswolds. The Cotswold Josie and Charlie effect knows no limits. Another set of friends have purchased a home in the Cotswolds. I don't want to say just to be close to us, but heavily inspired by coming to spend time with us and just realizing how amazing it is here. So very, very happy that we are adding to our Cotswold community. We have other friends that are trying very hard to find the right property, but it hasn't quite happened yet. Um, the property market here is fierce and crazy, but I'm so happy that more and more people are coming to live nearby. We love having new neighbors. But yes, yeah, so this afternoon, um, Charlie's gone to get his pre-holiday haircut. I'm gonna do a little bit more gardening. I've strung up my sweet peas. I think I'm gonna just tidy up the raised beds. And then, what is Dickens doing? And then give them a good water and feed. I'm gonna check the weather forecast. Hopefully it's gonna be raining tomorrow. What are you doing, my filet? Bunny? Oh, my frames arrived, finally, for my beans. Better late than never. Ooh, speaking of beans, speaking of beans, my runner bean is a running. If you have a runner bean and it gets taller than its frame, snip it off at the top and then all the energy will go down and it'll start developing flowers. Ooh, we've got a little bit of an aphid problem. Right, need to come and spray this. Look at that giant dragonfly that just landed. And very excitingly, if we delve in here, we've got my first courgette of the season. That'll be a very nice size by the time we get back from Sicily. Oh look, my first beans. Talking of the dolls, look, can you see? My first little bean. I'll have that for my dinner later. And even though the mange too was completely emptied by me a couple of days ago, we've got 10 million more. Oh, I need to do some more picking.
day Charlie's on pasta cooking duty yes we're having pasta for dinner even though we're going to be probably living off pasta for the next week in Sicily but um, I've just made this little posy to take over to La Luz Ooh, that rose is a bit skewiff, missing a few petals from the bottom. I'm sure she won't mind. So we've got some beautiful dahlias. At first I didn't love these ones, but actually they're just so fun and like the typical perfect flower. And they just are a plenty. There's so many of them, which is wonderful. Some Napita catmint, some salvia, some of the deeper coloured dahlias, which is really nice for a bit of a contrast. And then of course, some of the beautiful roses this is a wonderful vase nice and wide at the top so great for just doing these little mini displays every couple of nights 